Hey, what's going on YouTube? So it's Nathan Becker with another one bringing to you a new video. So today we're going to be talking about the hidden screen saver setting on the Amazon Fire Stick. You may or may not know about it. I did a video about it maybe a year ago, but the app has changed. There's a lot of new updates with it. I want to go ahead and bring it to you on the new Amazon Fire Stick. Now that you've seen the way it'll work, uh, you can put this on an Echo Show. You can put this on a Fire TV, any type of Amazon device that has a screen. You can add the Photos app to it, and you can display your screensaver with your photo album built into it in the background. You want to also have your mobile phone handy, so you're going to need a iPhone or Android device to log in to Amazon Photos. And with that, you're going to need to log in with the email address and password. Most likely you want to just use the same email address and password that you use to set up your Amazon Fire TV. So the next step is we want to go ahead and download the app to our mobile phone. So if you're on an iPhone, I'm on an iPhone, I'll go ahead and walk you through the process. You want to pull up the App Store, you want to type in Amazon Photos or just Photos, and then you want to find the app within the App Store. And then if you don't already have it downloaded, you want to go ahead and download that app. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is jump over to our Amazon Fire Stick. And let me just show you this real quick. So the first thing that you will see on your Amazon Fire Stick is just the standard buttons, home, find, live. And then you'll get your quick tiles here, the six quick tiles that you normally see at the very top. And then there's the three squares with the plus sign. You click on that and then it'll show you additional apps that your Amazon Fire Stick has installed. You may have overlooked it, you may have not, you may have seen it and thought, hey, what is that? So there's an app already pre-installed on your Amazon Fire Stick called Photos. All right, so you may have overlooked it, but once you open this Photos app up, if you use the same username and password that you use to create and set up your Amazon Fire Stick, when you open this app, it'll automatically show all of your Amazon pictures from your phone all right so i have the app open on my mobile phone i'm on the iphone so as i scroll through here you'll see the same pictures that i showed you that were listed within the amazon fire stick within the photos app within this app if you click the top left hand corner this is what i'll show you so it says my name there and then it also says photo storage unlimited full resolution for all prime members so if you pay for amazon prime right now this is an additional bonus for you within the photos app you get unlimited storage for photos and at full resolution so they can be 1080p or greater so that's definitely huge also if you click on photo storage you'll see that you don't have to have a prime account but i do want to let you know that if you don't pay for Amazon Prime, you can still get this. Even if you don't pay for Amazon Prime, you'll still get five gigs of storage for your photos and videos. All right, so I'm gonna click my back button here. And then also to the right hand side, you'll see print photos with Amazon. If I click on that link, you'll see here that you have the option to add photos to the photos app and then you can also have them print it and deliver it into uh, different types of items here so we have photo books tabletop decor wall decor photo prints photo cards calendars and gifts so you can definitely check out that here you'll see just some helpful tips on how you can customize your device um, but let's go ahead and drill down into personalized Amazon devices. If I click on that, you'll see the devices that I have listed within the Photos app for my slideshows. So it does detect the Echo Show, which I showed you in the video. And then it also has three different fire sticks, the guest room, and then uh, Nate's third and Nate's fourth. So with these, if I click on Carter Echo Show and I click on Alexa where it's already highlighted and checked with the blue checkbox if I click on that if I uncheck it That basically turns off those pictures from being able to display on my echo show So I don't want to do that Also, if I wanted to add photos to the echo show you would just click that bottom button the yellow button that says add more collections So if I check all these boxes, I can add all of those albums if I wanted to but I don't want to do that so I'm going to hit cancel on that because I don't want to change anything. If I go back, I can do the same thing for the other three fire sticks. I can change which album is shown on each individual. All right, also on the home screen here, the three dots at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. If I click on that, you can select photos or select 
photos and videos to upload to the app and then what we will do is highlight these photos and I can click the plus sign again and add it to an album or I can click the plus sign here and create a brand new album so I'll call this Christmas random and I could click done and it's adding those items that I selected to a brand new album so if I go back and then if I click the top left hand corner again and then go down to personalize Amazon devices and if I go to echo show and click on add more collections I'll then see that album that I just created which was Christmas random so if I hit save on that it'll upload and Christmas random and Alexa album are both gonna display on my Carter Echo show all right so I'm back on the Amazon fire stick let's take one last look at the settings here so if I click on settings if I go down to display and sounds if I hover over that you'll see an option and settings in here called screensaver if I open that up we'll get additional options here so if I click on current screensaver it's set to the Amazon collection all your albums are gonna list in here which makes it convenient when you wanna just go into the settings without pulling up the app you can definitely adjust those albums that you have pre-configured in your app so in here slide style you can set it to dissolve or pan zoom sometimes I like the pan zoom sometimes I like the dissolve you can set the speed to slow medium or fast you can also set your start time for when your screensaver comes on set to five minutes for me or you can do 10 minutes 15 minutes or never also you can adjust whether you want to see the date and time along with your screensaver I like to see the date and time so I keep it on there and then you can have your smart captions and Alexa hints and you can also do shuffle in case you don't want your photos to play in order every single time I did want to show you how easy it is to change within the Amazon Fire Stick as well. Alright, so that's all I got for you. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful so you can customize your screensaver on your Amazon Fire Stick. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.